What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Mom Panda here. Let's vary up our watch selection. And we're going to do that today with this watch. It's a Vario. Look at that, huh? Nice little box here. And boom, there is the Vario in here. So this one is actually a the white tuxedo dial watch from Vario. And this is a kind of a brand new watch. This is not my watch. This is actually on loan from Vario and uh, doing its internet tour here. So I don't get to keep it. This is just kind of a first look as this watch is getting released here soon. You can see here it comes with, at least in the setup here, and I don't know exactly how it'll come with in production, but it comes with like this kind of tweed red uh, strap here, slight taper, pretty nice spring bars in there, leather backing, suede like backing and uh, steel hardware on this end. So that should look very nice, especially with this tuxedo watch right there. That's kind of a nice, uh, nice little mix up. And here is the uh, tuxedo dial silver hands, black Italian leather strap watch. And it really has a beautiful classic look to it. We're gonna take a close look at this. It's not a big watch, only 38 millimeter in diameter, stainless steel. You can see how it's polished and brushed here. So we get really nice dual contrast. It has a very old traditional kind of old world look to it. Obviously beautiful on the top as you're looking at it, it looks all polished up, all bright work on there and on the side here. You can see we have kind of even an old style onion crown on this side so we can get in, get in that and uh, access it. I'm just gonna pull it out there like this and you can see we can adjust the hands like that. And it is ticking off. Uh, you can see here that this has uh, a sweeping second hand. So that might tell you that this sucker is a mechanical movement. And this is a hand wound Miyota 6T33 movement. Now, if I flip it over here, you're gonna get a little peek inside. You can see it's a Miyota movement there in Japan uh, label on it. Let me just take off this plastic off the box. Uh, there we go. And a uh, nice look at that all gold toned hardware in there really looks beautiful 17 jewels obviously you can see the beating heart pretty cool that the exhibition back is included on this mechanical sapphire crystal uh water resistant to five atmospheres that's really beautiful i like that miyota movements have been fantastic i've had a number of them over the years and they've just been uh dead nuts reliable screw on case back there just something that you can see and uh, appreciate curved lugs that's very traditional here um, in terms of the uh, strap thickness and lug width here, that's 20 millimeters, 11 millimeters thick. And I, again, it says sapphire on the back, so we have a flat sapphire crystal. I don't know about any anti-reflective. Um, I've got, I can kind of pick up the reflection pretty decently in there. So I'm kind of assuming that it's not. What we have here is kind of like a, uh, almost that, oh, that really nice rough hide almost like a rawhide type of finish to it. It's kind of got that uh, elephant-like hide finish to it, uh, color match or color contrasting side stitching in ivory there, which matches the highlights on the dial here, which we're gonna get into. I do like this kind of double beveled here. All right, let's get into the dial here. And this is really what, so that's all watches apart. I love the skeletonized hands here. They're really slender, polished silver, really needle-like hand here. Nothing on here says it looks like it's loomed up. Um, I love how we have kind of concentric chapter rings here, outer ring, which, which is white, with uh, black pips on it, dark, heavier pips at the hour, lighter, smaller pips at the minutes, and then kind of this uh, retro Art Deco style numbering all the way around. Obviously in silver, you can see it's slightly raised, but then really this inner dial inside this black ring here, which looks to be slightly sunk down. It's got a little bit different uh, lower depth to it. And look at that uh, beautiful pattern on it. It's actually very similar to the pattern that you'll see on Infinities. Uh, the, the gauge clusters on Infinities, which is nice, and I love that sweeping hand. It's really nice because it goes right out to that outer ring right there. And I love how uh, the, the rings and the hands are really well done. The minute hand kind of goes out to the minute pips. The hour hand goes right to the edge of the uh, hour chapter ring there. So really, really nice. This is pretty sweet. Uh, again, I think you'll have your choice of the Italian vintage leather here or you'll have the tweed strap. 
So I think as, when you're ordering it, you can get one or the other with it. Personally, I would go with the black leather strap. I think that is just the cat's meow on it. It's actually nice and thick too. It looks like I'd probably call it three millimeters thick. And I have a pretty big wrist, but I think you'll agree that I make this look good. Look at that, 38 millimeter watch, not super huge, but it's gonna be super wearable. Kind of hugs the wrist nicely and just has a lot of class to it, man. That is just, it's a stunning dial. It's that real subtle effect on that inner dial there that really makes this really beautiful. Tuxedo dial, wear it with your tuxedo. Wear it with your birthday suit. Uh, whatever you want to do here. Now, I don't know what the price point is on this watch yet, but I will say that if you go to the Vario website, a lot of the watches there are just what I think really, really good value. So uh, I think you're going to get a lot of watch. I, this is a lot of watch. And whatever the final price point is, I think it's going to be really, really fair. And I will say the watches aren't ridiculous. They aren't eight, nine hundred dollars. I mean, what we're talking about is a really affordable watch to a lot of people and just a beautiful style and something that you don't see on a lot of wrists. So check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description and some of the other variables so you can kind of check out what else they have in their arsenal. But just really, really nice. I dig this um, Vario. It's a nice change up from the other things you're wearing. Peter Von Panda, out.